the Chris Benoit story really fucks with me um, in a lot of different ways. My, my question to you, do you think that Chris Benoit story will ever get turned into a, a horror film or a horror movie? Well, it, it, no, by the definition, not really a horror movie, but it, it should be, it's, it's, a, it's not a great story, it's a fascinating story, and it probably should be a movie or, or something like that, but for everybody, you know, a lot of the fans go, oh, Chris Benoit's name should never be mentioned again. For everybody that knew him, it, he lost his mind. Whatever happened, whether it was the concussion syndrome or whatever, whatever happened, that was not to Chris Benoit that everybody knew up until that weekend. I w would you just sitting there idly minding your own business? If Chris Benoit walked up, the Chris that we knew, would you say, Chris, watch all my money, watch all my possessions? Chris, watch my child, watch my dog. Um, the most honest, the most friendly, the most polite. It sent us Christmas cards. Um, you know, every interaction I ever had with Chris was nothing but positive. He worked hard. He was always the first one there. He thought about other people. And you can't say enough good about the guy. And then he does something like, and I knew Nancy too for longer than known Chris. So I'm not just taking his side. It was horrible, but that, that's the definition of people losing their mind. It, it, and, you know, that's, I guess, going to happen no matter what. But, you know, the only thing you can say about Chris that he shouldn't have done is he shouldn't have... He worked too hard. He wanted to be the best. He took too much, too many shots to the head, you know, too many steroids trying to get big because he wasn't naturally big. Um, he had a lot of talent, but he had to compensate for his physical shortcomings as far as size, and he had to work harder than everybody else, which led to more damage and more damage and more damage. His, when they, you know, when they looked at his brain and said it looked like he was 80-something years old, that to me indicates that you've, you know, you've done something bad wrong to yourself. But it, it, it wasn't like a guy going out and doing a bunch of drugs on just going crazy. It was a guy trying to get bigger, stay in better physical condition, work harder, have the better matches, get ahead, provide for his family. And that's what led to that damage, I would have to think, because it wasn't the same guy until... And, and people started saying the last several months of his life he, was, he would get confused or he would think that people were following him or how did I, what's the right way to go home or whatever. And that, that was probably a, a sign that something was going on, but you know.